Our climb will be steep. We may not get there in one year or even in one term. But America, they are words that will go down in history, promises of change that, that one local there. artist captured more literally than others. It was made from uh, uh, coins, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters that um, I collected from friends and family. It's a concept that actually has several meanings depending on how closely you look at it. People donating coins to me from their coin jars that reflected very much the sort of um, campaign strategy, the Obama campaign strategy. But the sculptural portrait wasn't really a stretch for Andy McGee, since he's an artist who often tries to get people to look at something that's rather ordinary in a different light. This piece was very successful because uh, I think every, <clears throat> everyone had a very different interpretation. And again, if you get really close to the piece, you'll realize it's made up of about 10,000 tiny toy soldiers. In and of themselves, they're quite harmless and benign. Um, but when you see them on mass like this, collected together to create something new, I mean, it has you know, visually it has a much larger impact. He has done similar pieces with artificial sweetener packets and apparently yep. has plans for several more sculptures, which is why his studio looks more like a recycling facility. Sometimes I'll collect for years and years before the project materializes. A lot of people have told me that I see the world in a really weird way and maybe that's true. I'm interested <clears throat> very much in our relationship you know, as people to the things around us and um, more and more to the things that we consume. So the things we throw away, Andy does not, but builds something that makes us stop and think. Uh, it's going to be a, a staircase um, made out of cigarette boxes and it'll be called Stairway to Heaven, which has a dual meaning. Uh, heaven as in you can smoke yourself to death heaven as in the sort of ecstasy um, or satisfaction you get uh, from the cigarette. It's what art is supposed to do, and thanks to the internet, Andy's portrait of change is reaching more people than usual. Uh, Time Magazine found it on the internet along with many other pieces uh, that they were interested in, so they uh, published a copy of it in the Person of the Year issue, Time Magazine. And although seeing your art in the middle of Time Magazine is pretty cool, having an impact is even cooler. It's very rewarding to have become part of the national discussion, even if only in a very, very small way. Um, uh, that's very exciting and very thrilling.